What's up, YouTube? It's Boy King Tyson, and I'm back before we get to it. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe as you always. Watch for video. So now we're back on this whole topic with Ty Taylor allegedly being pregnant. No, not too long ago, I told you guys that Ty was spotted out in Daisha's Snapchat footage in the background where she appeared to be pregnant. Then she went on to Snapchat and posted a segment about fibroids. Then she later went on to say, I have five. Now stay out of my business, basically oh, insinuating yeah. that yeah, she has five. five fibroids and that's why she appears pregnant. So I'm guessing Deja finally got around to editing that footage of that boat trip. She posted a video and in a clip, you can clearly see Ty <laughs> in it and she appears very much so pregnant. Now she had this video up for about an hour before she deleted it because people look it's either you gonna go get them editor that that on um, the dvd and how he had or just don't respond yes you're gonna get a lot of comments you're gonna get a, a gang of edits you're gonna get a gang of dms just don't respond to it just, just leave it alone especially if, if you know for a fact you know that you want to upload your content but you're not you don't have the, the editor to to catch every every single moment to you know to clip them out or to make you look like you're not pregnant whatever you don't respond just leave it <laughs> it is what it is like y'all seen it y'all seen it i'm not i'm not gonna confirm or deny nothing so it is what it is that's how i would take it even though it's easier say it's easier saying that when i'm not getting a thousand dms about the same thing over and over and over so i understand it though i understand it but hey Again, your your only options are don't upload or find somebody who can who can edit the videos good enough to where you don't see it. Or like I said, three, don't respond to the comments. People were in the comment section congratulating Ty. I didn't get to get a clip, but here's a clip that was sent over to me. Again, that video has sent. Yeah, that ain't no viral right there, or whatever she said it was, because you can see she she had the little wobble too with it. So yeah, that went that. Come on, man. But look at the little wobble when she take the wobble. <laughs> Again, that video has since been taken down. So I'm guessing she's gonna try to edit that part out and make sure she doesn't have any more parts where you can see tying them but anyways you guys leave That's your opinions late. on that but let's move on to this next topic with carmen and big boogie now yesterday i reported that it appears that they may be in a serious relationship so boogie went on to his instagram and he posted i'm not dating nobody that don't support me we can be strangers right now yeah we for sure falling out because i'm big on my support i can't treat you like no girlfriend period if i don't get my support i'm a rapper doesn't matter if i'm already a superstar life goes on push me to be bigger and better share my songs share my videos write my songs catch shows when you can share my merch show me you proud other than just trying to be a girlfriend thug with me come to my studio <laughs> hey okay like i got a feeling and this is just based on what i be seeing i got a feeling he might be a real one bro i got a feeling buggy might be a real because it'd be a lot of clips and like quotes or whatever that he be putting out that we see like bro like that's real because i'm on i'm on the same thing like bro like if you are not you cannot be my girlfriend you can't hey you, can, you can't even be my friend if you are not supporting me again people if you have friends and you doing youtube you doing music you doing drawings you doing beats you doing anything to where you know you need hey at the end of the day we need support in order for anything that we're trying to get going, in order for it to grow, we need support. So if you have friends, family, and they're not, they were not your friends. They were not your friends. It, it should be, you, you sell t-shirts, they should buy five. You, <laughs> you do hair, they should come to you every now and then, especially depending on your price. If the price is too high for them, then I understand. But every now and then, they should come. They shouldn't be asking for no friend discount, no family discount, nothing. That's how support goes. Support is something that you should not 
ask for. Because if you got to ask for it, it's not real. It's it's 100% not real. So I, I feel them on that, though sessions just to look at me while i work i'm just giving game out to somebody girlfriend that's dating somebody that has a dream doesn't matter what he do support dude because if not somebody else will cherish those times in real life no cap real men support they women back so now when i posted carmen yesterday a few people thought that no he's already in a relationship with someone else but here he's stating he's not dating anyone that's not supporting him which is why carmen has been supporting him a lot showing up to his shows she even left a comment underneath that post that said it's like that but let's move on that's not real support that is basically that's flirting that's not supporting. The point, like he said, come to the. I mean, yeah, all right. That that was one show, all right. But come to shows, Bob merch, share my music. I ain't seen her share no music. I ain't seen her walking no, <laughs> no boogie t shirt. At least from the outside. Ain't no tell what she's doing behind closed doors. But hey, if he put out that long of a statement, he must not be doing that. So therefore, that's what he's saying. He's not dating. Not even, it's not even—it's the difference between dating and in a, in a relationship. You're not even in a dating stage because you ain't having any support and you flirting. You can flirt all day. To this next topic with Corey and his new girlfriend as well. Now things are getting serious between the two. She's talking about having kids, multiple kids you. with Corey, sometime very soon. I want to know your thoughts on Corey dating Maddie. Do you guys think that she's a good fit? She seemed like it, but she it's like they're gonna have a headache. Because it's like it's like she's the type of chick or not even the type of chick, but it's like the things that we've seen, the videos, she's always checking him. And it's like you always gotta check somebody. Is a, is is respect real? Is the love real? Is what we have real? Because why 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 should she always gotta check you about what you're doing? Unless she's just trying to be controlling. But the I love you part, people, y'all let, y'all let me know. How long does it take for you to be dating, relationship, whatever, for you to drop the L ball? Let me know, cause it's you know, it's a little bit too soon. Even though, hey, something, hey, I didn't been there before, so that's why I can say it's, it seemed like it's a little bit too soon for me. I've been there, I've been there. It wasn't even. Four months in, I, I was already fitting that way. So therefore, I know. But for him, I personally do. I think Corey needs someone that's gonna set him straight, put him in his place. She ain't playing no games with him, and she needs to pop him. She said she's gonna pop him. So yeah, she bought me a little bottle of Hennessy or whatever, right? And like everybody know Corey, I know the old boy. And Hennessy, like the whole. Y'all, he told me, he told me, baby, don't ever let me drink Hennessy if I'm not with you. <laughs> I said, boy, I will splinter shit. I will literally, y'all, see his teeth? Beautiful teeth, right? I will remove them shits one by one. You understand? He said that. Did y'all believe he said that to me? He said, baby, don't ever let me drink Hennessy if I'm not with you. That's an excuse. He's setting you up for the... <laughs> he, he said you're for out for the alley oop. So if you do something, baby, I was off the Hennessy. I told you. I told you. <laughs> Come on, man. Set you up for the okie though. Alright, so look y'all, let me tell y'all something real quick. So everybody, so everybody understand something. I own Maddie. No, no, tell, hey, them. tell them. Tell them, you gotta tell them. Tell, tell, them. tell them. Tell them. No, you tell them. <laughs> tell them. I'm telling you to tell them. Tell them what? Tell them that I own you. Get on it right now, let them know. He owns me, y'all. Alright, exactly. Look. And she on me. Yeah, I'm stuck here. I love it. 
Michelle. Yeah, I love him so much. Like, I, I really am so thankful for God. Because this wasn't supposed to happen. Like, it just happened. Get yeah, out. Here we go. Instagram got the active, we got taken down. What is going on with you? Tell y'all something y'all don't know. I'm gonna have a baby by him. Any second now. I'm done, y'all. I can't get out of I'm sweating. I don't care. I, I I truly hope the best. I truly hope the best. But it's like things are being just a little bit, just a little bit rushed. And we all know you can't rush greatness. You for sure can't rush something like a relationship. When he's fresh out of one, yes, they you know they've been done with each other, and but they've kept trying over and over and over and over. But I don't know, <laughs> I don't know. Like I, I'm not saying I hope they that they don't last. I'm not saying that he's going to end up doing something. But just sometimes, sometimes when you rush things. Things do not go according to his plan. Where does sexy red at? <laughs> Real live is wow. Put the hair on with your people, bro. Y'all are. I wonder what the hell she just said, boy. Give you a nephew is pretty. You already have three boys. You already have boys. No more boys. I was one boy. But I I didn't want to do a girl first. I didn't want to always want to girl. I didn't know that our first kid's going to be a girl. It's already been like a step. But I want to give them a boy. And a boy. And a boy. And another girl. And another boy. Oh, what's up? I heard you. <laughs> Nah, we're gonna end it right there, man. <laughs> Pray for them, y'all. Pray for them.